Hey, what's up, guys? This is Isaacs, and this week's topic, we're talking about dysphoria and the way we deal with it. Um, me, personally, some dysphoria that I'm dealing with right now is after surgery. I just had top surgery a few weeks back. You can kind of see, see those spots under my shirt because I'm wearing a light color. Um, having to still wear a compression garment. And... I have to wear that at least four to six weeks right now and almost four weeks so i'm hoping that i could get them to approve letting me take it in and off um next week because it's triggering me so badly it only comes to about right here and it has the shape of a bra clips up here in the front but it just reminds me so much of a bra and i have not worn bras since i started transition it's been like three and a half years i've used binders that were full length because I didn't want anything that reminded me of a bra. I used full length binders that looked like muscle shirts basically. And they approved it for me to use my binders while I had to compress, but I still have limited mobility mobility in this arm, so all in here hurts to stretch up into something that's that fitted, it hurts. It, does, it hurts me more than it does good, but so did this garment. It, it bunches up at times, and I have to kind of, like, wrestle with it because I have to adjust it. But this one is at least easier to get in and out of than the others. So, dealing with that dysphoria, that it's triggering me so badly, I just have to keep reminding myself, like, I only got to deal with it at a minimum another week at maximum another three weeks but I'll never have to see it again and no one's really seeing it anyway besides myself I have to deal with it and then like my girlfriend seen it and a few other people but they know why I have to wear it but it's still really just it triggers me so badly um, another thing with my dysphoria that triggers it is my family they still call me by my old name um not not all of them but like my mom she still does um my brother he still calls me his sister and i know it takes time for them to come around but you know and that's that's kind of where i'm at on that all all dysphoria sucks but it's a mental thing. You have to overcome it mentally, you know. Um, it's going to have as much power as you allow it over you. And the only way to kind of cope with it is to mentally not let it eat away at you. You have to mentally make yourself stronger and tell yourself, oh, this is just temporary or I'm just being crazy. That's not the case, you know. So, it, it really is just how badly you think about it, how badly you let it get to you, how badly you're going to let it keep bothering you. But if you tell yourself good things and reassuring things and remind yourself that you're down this path that is only going to get better, you'll get past that dysphoria and it won't be so bad. And doesn't ever fully go away guys or at least it hasn't fully gone away for me i mean i thought it had because i hadn't really had an issue with it recently but this garment is really triggering it and circumstances that would put me in a situation where it would be triggered i just kind of avoid so if i'm gonna go to an area where i know they're gonna call me by my dad name and i just avoid it if i can and that's kind of the way I've always dealt with things, but that's not actually the, the healthy route either, but it minimizes those triggers. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, guys, since I'm at work, and I'll see y'all next week.